Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Green Hell, shall we? Picking up where we left off with our complete beginner's guide, and well, we need to eat some food, so let's eat that. That'll help everything. And let's check in our backpack, see how our food's doing. Well, look at that. Eat it. And we're going to make a bigger planter box, which we actually have right here, if we want to grow more. But you know what I thought we would do? Is work on making some better arrows. So we have these, like, regular arrows. But they're not great. And instead, we could make metal arrows. So, in our second storage box, uh, we have obsidian if we want to make, you know, some more tools in that fashion. But over here, we should have all of our metal, which we do. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the stack. Put them over here. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up the stack. And put them over here. Now, you know what I... Uh, actually read that was pretty interesting when I was looking up uh, some stuff about making metal because I wanted to make sure I got the process right. You can actually use those cans that we found uh, in various places. You can throw those into your charcoal furnace and or your forge rather and make those into metal. So I thought that was cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and go into our backpack. And we just insert the iron ore there. And uh, how are you doing? Do you need all charcoal? Do I have none left? I wouldn't be surprised if I needed a ton. But charcoal's not that hard for us to get. Now, we do have a good bit. So we'll go ahead and pick up the whole stack and put it here. And then we'll pick up the stack and... You know, put it over here. And let me go here and just start inserting. There we go. And we're going to use our fire bow. Start this up. But uh, we need to add some dry leaf. And we're going to insert that to get the metal going. Now, we, we need to make some more charcoal. Uh, let's get the campfire ash out. And it's super dark. So that's going. So let's just sleep. Get some light. I'm going to go ahead and just snooze it up for a little bit. And seven seems good to me. Ah, that's better. It's nice to be able to see. Okay, so uh, we still need to find some smaller stuff to plant here. That's fine. You could see our uh, one plant is doing reasonably well. This is still cooking. And we need to put sticks in here. Now, as far as sticks go, uh, I have some. There you go. So, you know, it might be worth it to uh, create another large planter. Let's go into my notebook. Go over to mud. And make this and put it, you know, right over here. Uh. Hey, there we go. All right. Frogman. So we have some long sticks, which we can harvest. We 
gonna go ahead and uh, just take this and run over here. How's the metal doing? It's almost done. And we will go into our bag. And put all these sticks on. Almost got it. I'm going to get another piece of metal going. But we need to take one of these and we need to harvest the mud brick. Make a mold. We have two molds. I'm going to just uh, drop another one. I don't need that many. And I'm going to craft this mold. Uh, well, wait. No, let me get the metal first. All right. We'll take that. And let me put in another piece of metal. And then we'll go here. And we should be able to uh, just insert some more charcoal. Keep that fire going. And we're going to go here to the mold. And we're going to click craft. And we're going to combine this with a stick. And... Oops. Uh, oh, you need a regular stick. Not a uh, small stick. Okay, no problem. Let's get some sticks. Well, here's some sticks. You can, of course, just hit these with an axe instead if you want. Oh, there's a plank. That's nice. Oh, Seriously? it broke. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we need to make another one of those. Sad but true. Alright, first things first. Let's go to our backpack. And we're going to combine this. We're going to craft this with a stick and some uh, melted iron ore. And this will make the armor mold. So... The first thing that I want to make is an armor mold. So I'm just going to do that. Because I want to make metal armor as well. And we have this. And I'm going to expand and I'm going to drop it. There. And I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to go ahead and craft this. And, uh, oops. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. And I'm going to combine an arrow with metal and the mold. And we got an arrow mold. All right, beautiful. So we got ourselves an armor mold. And we have a arrow mold. So we can't do much with these yet. So I'm going to... Uh, go get some sticks. But we're on our way. Oh, you know what? Do I have my... No, okay. Let's go make another axe. Let's get some water to drink. Looking good. We need some fat. No problem. Ah, my... The nuts are going bad, so let's uh, destroy that one. Sure. The meat is drying. That is fine. Campfire ash. Charcoal. Get that. Coconut bowl. Sure. And I need this. Alright. So what I'm going to do now... Oh. There's some nuts right over here. Amazing. Ah, uh, here. Let's see if I can get over here and get these. There you go. Tremendous. All right. Oh, oh, oh. The singing is bad. So, maybe it's our forge has been going too long. Okay. Definitely want to be on the lookout for that. All right. Let me go ahead and save it. All right. Good. And let me eat. Tremendous. 
Okay. So let's get some sticks. All oh, right. I got to make an axe. All right. So craft. 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 Now we got an obsidian axe. All right. Let's get the axe out. Then we can just bonk these. Oops. Here. Great. Gonna run over here. That's still going. Let me... All right, and now we just need the mud brick right there. Pick this up. Dump that there. And then... Use this. With that, we're going to need some more dry leaf. Come on. We're running out of it. There. All right. So, I need some logs for my bigger planter, and that's fine. I actually have one here. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. I gotta put the sticks in first. No problem. Uh, well, sort of a problem. Those leaves look nice and dry. There we go. All right, so three logs will help us do the trick here. Oh, boy. Sticks everywhere. Fair enough. There it goes. That is a log. And that is a log. So we're almost there. I am dirty. That goes without saying. How are we doing over here? Huh? That's smoking. Ah, great. We got the melted iron ore. So... I always like to go back to my notebook on this. And we're going to go back into this and look for the instructions on metal. So, uh, we got a mold. Then we bake the mold in the forge and we harvest it and use a cast to create iron tools. So, we've got the mold, for example, for armor. And then we could just go here and we could... Uh, let's insert the arrows first. Get that going. You see, this goes actually pretty fast. And I just need a... Uh, I think this will provide a log. There we go. How about it? Sure does. Bam. And now I'm going to quickly uh, insert that and water it. And it's pretty good. 90% hydration. I'll take it. Okay. So I'm dirty. Let me wash myself. 
the mold is going. Oh boy, I didn't really mean to do that. I keep... I keep holding it down like that's going to wash myself, but no, that was drink. Luckily, I didn't get sick. I'll take that as a big victory. So we've got this bone armor, right? Which has been protecting us so much against cats. And we can make metal armor, which is intensive. It's going to take a lot of metal, but it doesn't weigh anything when you wear it. And it's the best protection that we can get, I do believe. At least we, we can craft. So I'm going to look poking around here for bananas, but I don't see any at the moment, which is less than ideal. But they could, you know, just drop in at any time. All right. Let's go over here. And that's still going fine. So another thing, what time is it? It's fine. Another thing we can do is while we're just kind of waiting for these to bake and on and on. Oh, we got plenty of sticks over here. There we go. Take these fruits. Go to your backpack. And if you can harvest this fruit, what did we get? Well, I'll show you. Eat. We got seeds. So I was going to do that with bananas, but we didn't get any bananas. You need to find the fruit like a banana, whatever. And then you have to harvest it. The nuts are already nuts, so you can just, you know, plant those right in the ground. But now we can go into our pack, and we can sort, select this seed in the upper corner, and we can plant it. And, uh, it's raining, so this should hydrate itself. Yep, there it goes. Great. So now we're growing that kind of fruit. So we need a lot of metal for metal armor. I believe you need three pieces for each section. Which is a ton. And we don't have infinite metal. And the caves don't provide, you know, a ridiculous amount of it. So I'm going to look at the map. I'm going to show you where I'm at. I am up here. But... I'm going to go to the cave to get metal, but while I'm doing that, or to check to see if there's metal there, I'm going to walk along this point, this outline here. This is a cliff blocking entry to another part of the zone, but uh, there should be a grapple point over here somewhere. Oh, look at this. This is a jackpot. Drink, harvest. And we're going to just go ahead and eat. That's great. And we can actually harvest this. Tremendous. Okay. Snake. And here it is climbing place right above me and it's now marked on the map maybe it looked like it did get marked uh maybe it did is this 4827 well shiver my timbers it is marked all right so we can climb up there you can look on the map where is it going to take you well, it'll take us over to, like we're going through the door uh, that we opened in our ayahuasca sequence. But, obviously, much, much further south. And that's worth investigating. But right now, um, so never mind what I said. <laughs> I was talking about that point. We already found it. All right. So we're just going to walk right back over here. Uh, 
until we find the cave. Oh, some nuts dropped. That's tremendous. Thank you. Thank you. It is worth, by the way, uh, here's the cave, just tracing this entire area of, if I look at the map, the hard squiggly lines. This is a topographical map, so it shows the elevation and stuff, but where you see the darker black lines, that's the cliff, that's the edge. And if you trace that, especially in this location, we'll find more climbing places than just the one that we have found so far. Now I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to check. Uh, remember to keep a listen out for scorpions in here. There's one, for example. And all I'm doing is checking for any places where metal might live. So here's one, for example. Here's one up here. But there's none in there. This is empty too. Here's some. Okay. Uh, a little hard to get to. There we go. Got it. Obsidian might as well take it since we're in here. Okay, I always just look everywhere because you never know uh, where there might be. No, I don't see any. Okay. Bananas, great. Alright. Now let's go home. It's getting dark anyway. I'm going to get out to a suitable weapon just in case anything happens. Here we go. All right. Some tobacco over there. And we're just about back home. All of our plants are getting watered. It's a miracle. Our forage has run out. But we're making more charcoal. So here's this plant growing. And this is ready to go. But I'm going to go to my backpack. And I'm going to harvest a banana... And now in this section, we have seeds for everything. So in this one, where I can plant, I'm going to... I can use the unknown seeds. Banana seeds are too big. And if I select... Uh, no. Okay. So then let's just plant this same fruit again. So the banana must want a bigger, the big box. And that's fine. Okay. So we're getting really tired. We did, in fact, finish the arrow mold. So we take it. And I'm always so careful. So we harvest the baked form and use a cast. So we go ahead and backpack. And we will uh, harvest this. And what do we get? Metalhead arrow cast times three. So 
So, we've got three of these. And if we craft... And, you know, craft... Oh, I've got no feathers. Alright. Let's go get some stuff. Um, I'm going to drop a bunch of coconut bowls down. Got a lot. There we go. We'll take this out. And we're going to pick up the stack. Put it over here. And we can actually just select this and just go to crafting from here. We don't have to actually put it in our backpack. So we can, you know, select a stick and go to the Metal Era HUD cast. And select another feather. Oops. And... Do, 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 do. Rope. So, rope. Two feather. Stick. Arrowhead cast. And I'm going to craft two of these metal arrows. Now, why can't I make more? Well, let's look at what the point is. The metal ones have this blue end. All I'm missing is feathers. But it's so dark, let's sleep. We're also really tired. We're going to wake up in the middle of the night. Which I don't love. But we got the moonlight. And we need protein badly, so let's see if any of this meat has dried out. It has. Good. That helped us out so much, it's ridiculous. Um, so we can take all this charcoal now. There's a ton. We need to melt the rest of this metal. So I'm going to go ahead and just start filling that up. And we can insert that, which is good, but guess what? We can't light this until we get some dry leaf. So we're going to have to wait for that. But that's easy. Go over here. And I'm going to uh, craft with this. And select this and this. Oh, we won't be able to do it. Oh, it's so sad. You hate to see this. Because, um... I need to get more than one feather. Now I have enough. There. So now we have three metal arrows. Which is good. For the rest, again. Then we're going to sleep until it's a point at which we can see. Like, this is fine. Okay. So we need to find some dry leaves. And that's pretty easy. We did get bananas, too, which is great. I'm going to leave them there. So all I like to do is just kind of walk around and look for any... It could be banana. It could be palm. Whatever it is. It has been raining, which is, you know, not the best. But there's some, I think. It's hard to see in this light.
Palm leaf, palm leaf. Palm leaf. Mm -hmm. I harvested it. If we just leave this... Eh, no. No good. Alright. Here we go, here we go. There's some. Alright. So some of these are dried, like this guy. Get out of here. Alright, take this. And walk over here and drop it. Oh, I got some leeches. Okay. Leeches. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Dried leaf. Hold to take. Dried leaf right there. I know we see it. Take it. Let's get rid of this thing. Good mushrooms out here. Alright, that's two dried. And here's a third one over here. Much better. Indeed. Wow, that's a log right there. Okay, so you can see all of our plants growing, and I'm going to go ahead and into my backpack, and we're going to use this Bitch. ignite it. We're going to. Uh, it's already inserted in metal, actually. Great. Okay. So we have one mold. We'll just go ahead and take this. Oh, no space in backpack. Oh, yeah, you're right. There is no space in backpack. Let me just craft with this. Oh. I can't craft. I don't have any... Oh, yeah, I do. I do. Okay, great. Here. Craft. Craft. I want to have enough arrows. I think six is a good amount. All right. Beautiful. I'm actually going to go to my bow. I'm going to go to a storage box and I'm going to take all of these regular arrows and I'll put them, put them away. I'm going to use metal arrows when I can. And uh, I'm going to just move these over here for now. Anything else? I don't think I need all of this metal. Eventually. Perfect. So what have we done? We have uh, planted some small plants, another large plant. We have, you can see the blue feather in my bow. We now have uh, iron arrows. We're making iron um, armor eventually. We went and we got some more metal, and we're going to go ahead and get that cooking. And we're going to keep exploring the map, but I like the idea of just further strengthening our position and just taking some time to get some better arrows, perhaps better armor, while we go explore. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. <laughs>